up YouTubers, this one's just a quick one about a bit to do with welding really, MIG welding, how to mix your own Argo shield, I mean like if you've got a MIG welder and you do a bit of MIGging and you've got a TIG and it's on the same setup, it's a bit handy to have not too many bottles, so what I've got is I've got a bottle of pure Argon and a bottle of CO2, it's just on pub gas and um, because I've got a TIG which I do a lot of stainless work and aluminium work. I obviously use the pure argon, but I just recently upgraded my MIG, and if I do a lot of mild steel, then I used to use just CO2, but you get a bit of a splattery weld with just the pub gas. So it's best to use a shield, but Arga shield is a mix, so basically it's mostly the majority of his argon with a bit of CO2 and you get different mixes for different thicknesses of mild steel. Majority of it is argon and then for thin steel it's about, I don't know, three or four or five percent of CO2 with the argon up to 25 percent CO2 for very thick steel. So basically what I've done, I've just got a rig, so I've got my pure argon and my CO2 and I'm just mixing it. So you want more flow, I've got these little flow sensors here and you want more flow obviously for the larger percentage of your argon with just a little bit of flow for your CO2. So say you're welding some thin mild steel, you want the majority of the argon and only a little tiny bit of CO2 to keep the percentage to about 5%. Uh, so basically I've got that on the mixer tap, I'm just using this mixer tap fully open and the CO2 is going into the mixer tap. I know it looks a bit funny, I should have both inputs going in here but it still works the same because these are fully open and basically I've got the argon going through and then the CO2 going through the wire as well and it all goes through into the MIG. So if we turn the MIG on and uh, just put the wire speed down to nothing. And if I open up the gun, you can see the majority of it is the argon with just a tiny little bit of CO2. And that's good for thin mild steel. If you want to do thicker steel, then you up the amount of the CO2. So then you can get a better weld on the thicker steel at higher ampage. Usually on, you know, if you've got 0.8 mil wire or one mil wire, then you thicker this steel the more added content of your co2 with your argon but you still want the majority of your argon as the main gas so just works out easier for me because like mostly i do tigging so i've got me a pure argon but i do a lot of migging as well so i used to use co2 only uh, but you get a lot of splatter with co2 so now i've treated myself to mixing it and i get really nice welds with the mig so yeah just a quick one there just on uh, how you can mix your own gases on this one which goes to my mig uh, i'm just going to put a wire adapter on it so it'll go straight to my tig as well on this one so then i've got both bottles set up and if i just want to do just stainless or alley on my tig and I keep this bottle off. I mean, I can shut it off here as well. Uh, just shut that right off. And then all I'm doing is, even though they just feeded right to me, MIG and me TIG, I'm only using pure arg and going to me TIG. So then I don't have to mess about changing bottles over or anything. It's all on the same setup, on the same trolley. It's also handy if you want to use pure argon for actually feeding your MIG because you can use a spool gun. So say if you wanted to MIG Pure Alley, then you can get a spool gun attachment, just an attachment which goes on the end of your MIG. And then I'll be using Pure Argon. So obviously it's a good setup for that as well. So yeah, makes it nice and easy. So yeah, just a quick one this time. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.